y'all don't mind, let's go back to a time we really used to have church. We used to have a good time, praising the Lord, the spirit and the truth. I love them old church That old brother, song. pick up that old hymn book and Singing you knew exactly what he was going to say. Sisters got happy, old folks start patting their feet, clapping their hands and singing. All of a sudden, he break off in a song, something like this. Having Bibles, everybody should be in Judges, uh, Judges chapter 16, verse 15 through 20. And, and, and you, you may have known or may have heard of the story of Samson and Delilah. And I want to talk to you this morning about being careful who you allow in your bed. I want to talk to you this morning about being careful who you allow uh, in your bed. This scene uh, takes place uh, where Samson is out of place. He is uh, void of his respect and his honor toward his parents. In earlier chapters, you might uh, recall that it was his mother that told him to leave those uh, Philistine women alone. And is there not uh, godly women for you to be with? Samson responds to his mother was, I go to find me a woman. He went on his journey, he began to fight battle after battle, victory after victory because of the hand of God. From the time he was born, God's hand was on him, God was moving him, God was directing him, and everything he did was because of God. Mm -hmm. The enemy, I want you to watch this, I want you to understand, male or female, the enemy then uh, brought out a weapon. He realizes that in order to get close to someone, you have to get to where the emotional state of mind is in the person. Uh -huh. In order to get close to someone, you have to uh, involve love. You have to involve uh, the human side of us that craves uh, the super ego, needs attention, it needs to be uh, uh, fed, it needs to, be, uh, uh, needs to be massaged, it needs to be put in a place. And even uh, Satan realizes that, that, that if I can get somebody close to you in your bed, I, I soon can get you away from God. Right. And so the enemy uh, has watched humans uh, long enough by now, and he realizes that there's something about a man and a woman, uh, something about humans who need emotional attachment to something or someone, and he realizes that there's something in our covenant spirit that, 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 that he's able to effect change, and so the enemy dispatches uh, his angels, he dispatches uh, his warriors, and you remember the scripture uh, in Ephesians 6 and 12, where we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places, against rulers of darkness, against principalities, we, we wrestle against some stuff, and so something starts in the spiritual, now I want you to stay with me for a minute, something starts in the spiritual and then moves to the natural. What do you mean moves to the natural? First, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse number 13, we find that the enemy uh, can transform himself from light to darkness, from unrighteousness to righteousness, from a, 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 a demon to deity. He can take on forms. He can uh, enter in. He can, he can now uh, change his disposition to uh, become an acquisition, and, and he's not going to stop until he gets what he wants. And, and the Bible says in the text that Delilah, who's an agent for the inner man, Samson, who is on God's side, but not acting like the God's side, uh, he, he, she, the Bible says she pressed on him daily. I need you to hear this because she pressed on him daily means that she didn't stop until she got what she wanted. And it's right. not about to tell you that, that whether male or female, the devil's not going to stop right. until he gets what he wants. Y'all can say amen. 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 The devil's not going to stop no. until he gets what he wants. Yeah. He's going to press and press yeah. and press until finally you take glory from God and give it to yourself. All right. Samson looked at her. She said, tell me, how do you get your strength, Samson? Tell me, how do you get your battles? He didn't say God brought me through. All right. He didn't say amazing grace, how sweet the sound. He didn't say, he didn't say it was nobody but the God, but the Lord. Tell how to say amen. Right. He, didn't, he didn't raise his head and say, I got to tell you about okay. God. He, he, he didn't say it's through prayer and All opinions. Right. Uh, but he said, here's the problem. Uh, my hair has never been cut and the strength right. is in my hair. In other words, I know it all and I got it all together. And, right. and when she said mm -hmm. that, uh, the Bible said that the spirit of the Lord departed from him. Uh -huh. What do you mean by that? I'm telling each and every Every one of you that in some cases because you have not given God glory right. the spirit and the power of God has departed from you right. has moved on from you and All you right. got an enemy in front of you who's now positioned himself or herself in your bed that's real close to you uh -huh. and you want something from the devil All and right. the devil wants something from you okay. and you have no protection because the Bible said he didn't know that the devil had left he didn't, that, that the Lord had left him right. to fend for himself. Uh -huh. Let me show you the 
very quickly because the Bible says that she pressed on them daily. The enemy job is to tear down your reputation. All right. The enemy job is to tear down your name. The okay. enemy job is to make people hate you. All the right. enemy job is to humiliate you. The enemy job is to take your virginity. The enemy's job is to make you look foolish. The enemy job is to uh -huh. leave you sitting right. busted and disgusted. He's not going to quit until he takes everything away from you. Yeah, man. Every uh -huh. person in front of you have you looking at him crazy. He'll have folk come lying to you about him. You'll find yourself questioning folk. He'll isolate you. And once he gets you where he wants you, All once right. he gets you to think like a devil, he'll pluck your eyes out. Uh -huh. All right. yep. He'll cut your head off. He'll, t he'll bond you in feathers. He'll make and they'll make sure and make sport of you. The Bible goes on to say in this text that they had, they had Samson going around pushing, a, pushing a, just a wheel with going nowhere, walking around in circles and wow. pushing him. His eyes pumped out of his head. Wow. He's not part of nothing nearly who he used to be. Uh -huh. I'm about to ask you, nearly who you used to be until you came into the devil. When the devil gets a hold of you, he's not going to let go until he finish you up. Amen. Listen to his characteristics. So the first one we're talking about is the pressure of the text. The pressure of the text. You, well, I feel like I'm about to lose your mind. He's still not through with you. Mm -hmm. I, I find myself, I can't sleep at night. He's still not through with you. All right. I find myself a need to take substance in order to help me feel good. He's still not through with you. All right. I've been heartbroken so many times I don't know what to do. You still living? He's still not through with you. Okay. I've been everybody laughing and talking about me. He's still not through with you. All the right. Bible says in 1 Peter 5 and verse 8 that your enemy is Satan. He goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. He's not, right. he's not trying to hurt you. That person that's in your life is not trying to hurt you. They're trying to kill you. Okay. That person in your life is not trying to get next to you. They're trying to take you out. And, right. they, and the way right. they want to take you out, if they can just get you in the bay. Okay. I was watching the video. All right. I was watching Kanye West video, and he had a video uh, called Famous. Okay. And in the video, he had the enemy had supplied him with some of the most iconic people in America. You may know some of them. All right. Had, and you may have met some of them in your time. He had Caitlyn Jenner. All right. In the bed with him. Okay. Caitlyn Jenner represents. The bipolar people that you meet in your life, that you went into bed with, and you got up and said, you don't know if you're a man or were you more emotional than I am. All right. Uh, amen. Y'all y'all never dated a man that fuss and complain more than a woman complain, uh -huh. that like his fingernails done, and like his toes done, and uh -huh. like the wear pastel colors, and mm -hmm. don't like this and don't like that. The Caitlyn Jenner, and at the same time, he can be masculine, and at the same, sometimes he manly, sometimes he not, sometimes he happy, sometimes he mad. That was Caitlyn Jenner. You better be careful of the Caitlyn Jenners that you allow in your bed. Amen. Not only did he also had uh, 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 Bill Cosby All right. in the bed with him. That was Bill Cosby laying in the bed. Uh, y'all looking at me funny right now. I know y'all know, right. know, know what I'm talking about. All right. He had Bill Cosby in the bed with him. That was Bill Cosby laying in the bed who represent those people that you met in your life who slipped you a mickey. Mm. Who you thought was one All way right. when you met them. And after you got to know them, you found out they were out of their mind. Mm -hmm. okay. They liked you at first, but now years down the road, they're not quite halfway who they used to be. Uh -huh. That person told you, I'll never leave you, but the first time somebody came a little cuter, a little finer, a little, sm a little, little whatever, he got up and she walked away and never looked back. All right. Oh, they slipped you, Mickey. You know in your heart and your mind, had you been in your right frame of mind, you would have never been with Bill Cosby in the first place. Amen. Amen. Now oh, these people represent character flaws. They represent folk who are being used by the enemy if they're guilty of what folks say they are. Uh, right. who, who have been used by the enemy not to hurt, not to maim, not to, but to dismember and to kill. For Satan sends his agents out, according to John 10 and 10, to kill, steal, and destroy. Right. To kill relationships with God. To kill relationships okay. in the community. To kill friendship. To destroy hope. To destroy victory. Uh -huh. This is just, when, when, when Samson is lying in the arms of the liar, the liar, he is in a harmful position. Mm -hmm. But the most harm that he did he did to himself when he took right. the glory from God and gave it to himself. Uh -huh. I want you to know that whenever you put yourself before God, you can get ready because the enemy is getting ready to pounce. Right. Sometimes the only thing you have.
that's protecting you in this life from these monsters that are out here is the fact that you still name the name of Jesus. Y'all ought to say amen. 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 I believe Paul put it this way. Let everyone that name the name of Christ turn from iniquity, having this seal. The Lord knows those that are his. Amen. Sometimes the only reason that you got by your Caitlin Jenners and all these folks that you met is because you kept naming the name of Jesus. Amen. You kept giving him glory despite your ups and downs and ins and outs. You kept giving him glory. You, you, you knew he should, he should have done you in a long time ago, but you kept shouting, thank you, Jesus, when the enemy was making sport of you and laughing at you and thought they had something on you. just kept saying, thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. And folks were talking about how dumb you were, how you let him have this and how you did that. You just kept saying, glory unto God. Amen. Somebody Amen. said, after the Jehovah, right. I shall not be moved. Amen. Just like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water, I shall not be moved. Amen. We find that the press is serious because the Bible teaches us in Revelation 12 and 10. I'm going to tell you something you know you met a real devil. The devil's job is to constantly accuse you of one thing or another. Uh -huh. He right. does not need facts. He does not need evidence. All he needs is an accusation. Yeah. And right. a demonic child, just like a child of God, mm -hmm. can hear the word of God and know that that's the word of God. A demonic spirit will hear a lie and will run with that lie like a dog with a new bone. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because a devil can speak to a devil. And a child of God know truth when they hear truth. This is what the devil is doing. And why is the devil doing that? Revelation 12 and verse 10, you'll find that the devil's active. He's busy. He is, he is making his moves. It's his job to make folk look at you crazy. It's his job to make you deny God. He knows that once you get God off on you, from on your side, you're in a lot of trouble. And there's somebody in here right now that need God on their side. Somebody got their head down. Somebody's heart's broken. Somebody's going through something. And your main part, you need God on your side. All right. He didn't even know that God had left him. That's the scary thing. He didn't know that God had left him. Mm -hmm. Revelation 12 verse 10, the Bible says what? And I heard a loud voice heard saying in heaven. Voice, watch the pressure. Saying in heaven. Saying in heaven. Now has come salvation and strength. Salvation and strength. And the kingdom of our God. Now you get ready to get saved. Whenever right. salvation is around, the enemy is going to be around. Okay. Whenever you get closer to God, whenever you put faith and belief in God, the enemy will be somewhere nearby to try to tie what God has built up. Amen. Now has salvation come. Oh, what's the Bible say? And the kingdom of our and God. The kingdom of our God. And one power of his Christ. And, all right, read. Or the accused of our brethren well, on, is cast down. He, he, he said, wait, he said, the accuser, the accuser, accuser. of our brother All right. has been cast down. Uh -huh. okay. Everything starts All with right. an accusation. Uh-huh. Yeah. When Delilah is talking to <coughs> Samson, okay. she is accusing Samson of having the power in him. All right. Rather than saying, tell me about the God. That's in you. Amen. Uh -huh. She knows because the Philistine, Philistine, Philistine had said before that your God is God. Right. Many times God had put the Philistines in check. But her response to Samson is, instead of me asking about your God, tell me why you so bad. Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. when the enemy gets in your bed, when he gets in your head, and that's the bed I'm talking about. When he gets in your head, his objective is to make you think that you better than who you are. All right. It's to make you think you're smarter than you are. It's okay. to make you think you're more spiritual than you are. And so she said to him, tell me, big boy, how is it that you do the stuff that you do? All right. His response was, well, if you cut my hair, he didn't say how good God was. Amen. Okay. When he starts the accusation, he does not just start one accusation. Once a devil get a hold of something, they don't just let it go. Have you ever had some gospel about you? Can you raise your hand? Have you ever had some gospel about you? Yeah. You ever had some demonic spirit start some lie about you? Right. You stand there trying to figure out what's going on. They didn't just stop with one lie, did they? No. But is it, and, and the person they told a lie to, they didn't stop telling a lie, did they? And the other folk that knew, they didn't stop. They, you don't know why? Because the pressure is on. The pressure is not about the lie. The pressure is to get you to conform and to drop down and to give up on God because of the lie. Right. But I stopped by to tell you, I shall not be moved. Amen. You know the truth. God knows the truth. And no one else, don't you take glory from God. The Bible says if any man suffer as a Christian, right. happy. Oh, yeah, y'all don't sound like y'all happy. Uh -huh. If you're right. suffering as a Christian right now, can you just smile at your neighbor and say, it sure feel good. It sure, sure feel good. Am I right about it? Everybody.
anybody in here if the devil been lying on you? Listen to what the Bible said that he's up in heaven. He's lying on good folk. What else? He accused the brother and what? He's cast right. down. He's cast down. Which, calls, which accused them which before accused God. Them before day, God. And day and night. Day and night. And they overcome him by the blood they, of the Lamb. They overcame land. him by what? The blood of the Lamb. No, they overcame him by fist fighting. The blood of the Lamb. They land. overcame him by going and telling them off. The blood they of the Lamb. They overcame him by going up telling them, I'll kill you if you say it. Okay. No, no, they overcame the him by the land. blood of the Lamb. I'm going to write about it. All you got to do is trust in the Lord, I'm going to write about it. Lean not to your own understanding and recognize that the devil got a job, but God has a job too. Amen. And, God, and God will not be defeated. Amen. Samson Amen. obviously had a problem. Samson obviously thought he was bigger than God. The accusation had been made that he thought that he was bigger than God. She played the card. He fell into it and the press was on. The Bible says she pressed upon him daily asking him, what is your power. The press, my friend, is seen in Luke 8 and verse number 43. When a woman had an issue of blood All for right. some 12 years, the devil didn't just, the body wasn't just afflicted for one year, but the press was on for 12 years of her life. All she right. was sick, she was ill, she didn't feel good. Is there anybody out here that can relate to the pressure of your yeah. physical health and strength? Yeah. Yeah. There anybody in here that's ever been sick for a week? Okay. You thought you wasn't going to make it. Try it 12 years. Yeah. Boy, you're sick. Am I right about it? Has anybody right. been from the wheelchair back into your wheels? You can drive around. Right. But the press was still on. Yeah. Sometimes the enemy might not get you the first time. Uh -huh. He might not get you in year three. He uh -huh. might not get you in year five. But he'll keep the pressure on. Uh -huh. He'll go up and down and to and fro upon uh -huh. the earth. He'll keep yeah. applying pressure. He might yeah. not get you with that devil. But he'll try that devil. Sometimes he'll get in your mother. Sometimes he'll get in your brother. Sometimes he'll get in your lover. Sometimes he'll get, but he's going to keep coming. He might have to let up. Twelve years the press was on. The text says she pressed him daily with her words. Let me tell you something. There ain't nothing worse than a woman get a hold of you. If she wants something done, she's not going to stop. You can tell her no. Oh, Samson told her, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. She just kept on coming. Y'all have been, been with somebody that like to borrow money. Y'all been with somebody that like to I got a couple of brothers. When they call you, you can tell them no all you want to. All right. They're going to call you right back. Okay. When you didn't have 20, did you have 10? All right. Well, what you mean? You, last week you didn't have 10. I know you, I know you got it. And they're going to keep coming and right. coming. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not calling them a devil. But what I'm saying is, if you think, now this, 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 this is a lesson in that, in that verse of the text. This is a lesson, Anthony. That if you think that just because you had a problem that it's over. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> it ain't over. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. you, you need to understand the pressure mm -hmm. is going to be applied as long as there's a devil. Mm -hmm. All right. And I've never seen the devil go to sleep. Like I've never seen God sleep nor slumber. All, All right. right. I never read that the devil sleep. Uh, okay. He's going to keep coming. I need to repay this because if you get this part, we're going to be all right. Okay. But you need to get this part. If you're going through something in your life, you need to understand that sometimes it's a 12-year battle. Uh, right. Sometimes it's a personality disorder. Uh, Look right. at the scriptures. The Bible says he and he pressed and lead. Uh, he pressed, and the Bible says that Legion uh, uh, in Luke five and verse nine that that that, that 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 the press was on Legion. God said, Legion, what is your name? And Legion said, My name is Legion, for we be many. Some of us are under the pressure of multiple personalities. Right. Sometimes we, we feel like we're Bobby. Sometimes we feel like we're Brenda. And sometimes we don't know who we are. Sometimes right. something just depends on when you see me in the morning. Ah. Sometimes I can walk and forth. How you doing? And I don't know who I'm talking to. Yeah. Some of y'all got some person that the pressure's on. Yeah. And you had to develop. You had to learn how to function yeah. using different personalities. Sometimes in order to tell somebody no, you got to go street on them. Somebody say amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Say, amen. Yeah. So you got to get street on them. All of us got some. All y'all got a little street in you. Amen. Right. I, 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 I can tell when mine get to acting funny. Uh -huh. I know when it's not. The, I know when it's not this, but it's the street person because uh -huh. a dialect change. Uh -huh. It changes from Greg uh -huh. to yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, y'all know what I'm talking yeah. about. Uh huh. Yeah. Sometimes in the, the 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 disposition change. You know, whenever that other personality come out, don't your shoulders bow up a little bit? Uh -huh. Amen. Don't, don't you kind of get a little bass in your voice? All I right. said. Mm. I said no. Uh, all right. I said no. Okay. Get out. <laughs> so, sometimes the street in us gotta come out. All right. But we learn. We learn to adapt. We learn that, that sometimes we can't be Christian Christian 
life would need to be. And sometimes you got to tell folk like it is. I don't want to talk to three people that want to stay in the church. Amen. 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 Let, me start, let me start finding five people in the church. Sometimes we develop personalities in order to get us through our circumstances. Okay? Yeah, uh -huh, that, you, know, you got the personality where, you know, you you, you, you try the Christian way, but brother, I, I really wish you wouldn't do that. I uh -huh. I want to. That's, your, right, that's yeah. your King James Version. Uh -huh. I want to. You know, let's pray about it. Let's ask uh -huh. God to. Just don't do not do that again. All right. Brother, you just you just activated about 13 of my personalities. Okay. <laughs> and 12, I'm going to kill you right now. All right. I'm just looking for some scripture. Okay. The Bible says there's a time to kill. All right. Hey, y'all all right. Y'all all right. All right. Because of the pressure, like, we, we have learned to develop personalities to survive. We learn to develop different things that we need to be strong, but the only time it becomes a, a impairment is when that personality begins to override the spirit of God that rests uh, inside of you. Amen. And it's all right that every now and again the sense and think he bad, he take a child grown and, and kill off the enemy. It's all right that every now and again right. Samson go take on a whole military by himself. He know God with it, but, but let me tell you something. It's not okay. It's not all right when that ego or that personality looks somebody who don't know God in the way of their sin and tell them it's because of my goodness and because of who I am that I got to where I am. Uh, I stopped by to tell you that if it had not been for the Lord amen. who was on your side, amen. you would have been dead a long time ago. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord on your side, you would have been out your mind a long time ago. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, you'd be incarcerated right now. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, you would have been dead, don't I? Samson error was because of the press that was on him daily. Mm -hmm. Recognizing that, you need to understand that there's going to be pressure on you daily. All right. The pressure is to get us to play the game. Samson knew better than this. Mm. Remember this text starts off because she says, riddle me this. Riddle out the riddle. He's playing with the devil. Mm. All right. You better stop playing with the devil. Uh -huh. okay. You're not going to be the devil by yourself, y'all say amen. amen. Your problem is when you start playing with the devil, you need to understand the odds are stacked against you. Right. He's older than you. Okay. He's more subtile than you. All right. He can see stuff you can't see. Okay. He can get people close to you to affect you. All You're right. not going to beat the devil. Okay. You better lean on God's everlasting arm. Right 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 well, she's pressing him. And as she's pressing him, he begins to play with her. And you know, we've all done it. We, we've done it. We've done it when we go to Vegas. We're doing it. Am I right about it? Yeah. Right. Right. Come on, tell the truth. Now, walk back at me up and down. Well, yeah. we, we, we play with the devil. But let me show you something about, uh, about, about, about Vegas. Let me show you something about Vegas. Uh, there's a term called the law of averages. All right. And what has been conveyed by the enemy is that if I keep playing, all right. the law of averages suggests to me that I'm going to win 50% of the time. All right. Uh, whether it's a roulette table or the back door of little Joe. Mm -hmm. All right. Whether it's the uh, one thing or another. Go ahead. At some point, or it's the slots. At some point, we have allowed the term the law of average All right. mm -hmm. to become a law. Not recognizing that dice, roulette tables, Slot tables have no memory. Mm -hmm. They don't know that half the time they're supposed to be heads and half the time they're supposed to be tails. Uh, yeah, so right. I don't know what y'all got. Y'all letting them go fool y'all. And, and it's all right. And let me, let me stop by and tell you this. It ain't no church that exists in America that if you hit $50,000, uh -huh. not going to expect you to put some of that Vegas money in the collection plate. They can lie all they want to. They won't want they cut. Like it. Y'all look at me funny. Right. I don't care, but just tell the truth and stay in the church. But I'm trying to help somebody because here's the problem. It's not whether or not it's sin, it's do you recognize you're playing you're playing with the devil. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't even address whether it's sin because, because, because factually it's more of an ethical and moral decision. 
But the question is, do you recognize that you're playing with the devil? You're playing with the devil because of the pressure of life. Perhaps you have financial problems. Perhaps you have something in your spirit. You're playing with the devil because he's put pressure on you and you're trying to hit quick. And on the streets we call it, I got to get a lick right quick. Uh -huh. If I can just get me a lick. Uh-huh. 7 and 11. 7 and 11. That don't look Joe. That's not the model. I need a new pair of shoes. Uh, Papa needs a... Oh, Papa. Gotta, uh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. But we do it in the mentality that Samson is doing, that he's going to win half the time. Right. When most of the time we cannot afford to lose one of the time. Okay. See, that, that, that's why you can't play with the devil. The devil can lose all he wants. Mm -hmm. All he got to do is win mm -hmm. one time. All right. You can keep playing with suicide if you want to. Okay. And you might escape it seven times. Mm -hmm. right. But one day you're going to take some pills. And they're going to react faster than you thought. And you're going to lose that one time. And that'll be your last time right. playing with suicide. Okay. The devil don't have to win but one time. Okay. You can't afford to let him win not one time. Okay. And you can't afford to lose out there because your bills are already due in the first place. All right. Well, preacher, what are you saying? I'm saying that when, from a psychological standpoint, we realize that when a person gambles, whether it's with his soul or whether it's at the slot machine, right. or whether it's the roulette table, or the one I'm bending, that they create the average themselves. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to watch it. It's not a law of average. There's just an average. And what happens is, is that the more you do something, the more you push yourself toward a positive result. All and right. if you don't do it enough, you'll never get toward the positive result. So what the casinos do is they send you free night hotel, free food, and free this and some money to push you closer to that big payday that you may or might not get. Mm -hmm. And if you don't come enough, you're not going to get close to the big hit. It's all a cycle. It's a game that's being played. Right. And Satan is playing the game. Yeah. So when you get it in the mail, you get this gift, you get that gift, it's because they are pressing on you daily to push you farther from God and closer to the devil. To the devil. Okay, all right. It's not the law. So when you hit one out of 38 times, it's more likely. Mm. When you hit one out of 15 visits, it's more likely. When you finally hit, you have lost 10 times what you want. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? Yep. Yeah. Therefore, when we start talking about our soul, All right. the question then becomes, that, uh, uh, Samson, why are you playing with your soul? Mm -hmm. You're more likely to lose than you're going to win. You may have won. Battle